All right, so here we are in Cinema 4D and we have a really nice mesh from the content browser for um, release 21, as well as some nice materials from Grayscale Gorilla uh, along with the um, a nice HDRI. But we are here to talk about the camera tag. So let's just jump right in. So you know that you have you, you can have your, your camera tag and if I open this menu here, uh, we have different options for controlling, you know, the depth of field, exposure, the color, bloom, um, and so and so on. Um, lots of options. So here's the problem that I see um, a lot out there in tutorials and whatnot. And, you know, maybe a lot of people knew about this. I just recently found out about it and I keep seeing it online. So I thought I'd made... Uh, I'd make a, a quick tip about it. So anyways, if I overwrite here the exposure controls, now we have uh, control over, you know, some of the color correction for our image. Uh, you can see that I can add uh, a lot of vignetting here. Um, I can reduce it. I can adjust the uh, white balance um, and, you know, all these different settings. The problem is that um, you can see here that every time that I adjust one of the sliders or the properties, it triggers a, a new render. And I think it's a little bit weird the way uh, the Redshift people set this up. Um, in Octane, you can just, you know, mess with these settings and it doesn't trigger a new render from here, from the tag. But the um, here's the workaround for this not to trigger a new render because, you know, you should be able to just adjust this after your um, your image is rendered, right? So here's the trick. If you go to the your render view and you click on the cogwheel here, you have all the same settings or the same tabs that you have here. Um, this one's called photographic exposure and this, was, this one here is called exposure, but whatever. The point is that if you notice here, you have photographic exposure camera front. So it's taking um, all the settings that we are using from here, from our camera that we're looking through, and um, we can actually adjust everything from here. And we're not gonna trigger a new render. As you can see, it's it. I have it set to progressive. Um, I don't want to reset it right now, but anyways, uh, just you can see how we can um, adjust all of our settings from here and not trigger a new render. Um, and this works if you're looking, if you have, you know, you have your camera that you are looking through set here. If you have uh, your render view, uh, it works the same way. And I think even in auto, it, it's gonna work. Yeah, it's not triggering a new render. So um, again, it's a little bit weird that you have to go, you know, what's another step to control this where you should be able to just control it from here from the camera but anyways um, it's there so another thing that i wanted to mention is that when you're using takes and using this method of adjusting your settings in your camera uh, you have to be aware that uh, so real quick here i have two takes right uh, take one and then take two is just uh, using the same camera but in different positions but if you see here and I'm, I'm, I have auto take on. So you see everything here is blue because it's telling me that it's ready to, you know, um, like overwrite the setting from before. If I adjust my settings here, it's working fine. But, and, and it's even changing it here, but it's not, you see how this is not going, uh, you know, it's still blue. For this to take effect, um, if you if you use takes at all, uh, you know that you know this this has to go um, into the white like the regular white, and then you are like almost <clears throat> recording that setting here. So just keep in mind that if you're using takes, you need to actually go into a tag. And what I like to do is just uh, when I'm doing different takes with the same camera, what I like to do is just quickly, um, you know click here back and forth just so, that, just so that, that I'm working you know starting from the same settings as uh, my take one uh, you know 
and then this way I have all the settings that I want to use already like set for recording so from here I can adjust like everything the white point I need to uh, trigger it so let's just trigger it here real quick and uh, let's change this this to something like uh, more blue something like that right and then here uh, I, I'm 100% sure that you know all of this is being recorded and I'm using just one camera and if I go to the other take you can see that all the settings uh, jump back to what they were before so that is basically it thank you guys so much for watching the tutorial and let me know if you have any questions thank you